Hello, YouTubers. Yeah, this is Python Cheese here again today, and, uh, well, uh, I screwed up on my other motherboard, and I just see if I could, there's no, uh, cartridge slot right here, because, uh, I seen if I could bend board, board bend or whatever, and it was already ruined to begin with, I just wanted to try it or whatever, but this N64 is done for, so, but I'm just gonna keep it for parts or whatever, for testing and whatnot. In case I ruin any parts on here, I can just replace it. But, uh, it was going pretty good for the first one, and then it, I guess it stopped giving power to it for some reason. I, I couldn't figure out the source of it. I tried and tried, and yeah, it wasn't just going through power. And and I, got it, I thought I got it down to the slims that I, I could, the motherboard, as you can tell pretty slim um, I just doesn't have any of the heat sinks on and then this one I tried it and I actually got it to be a little bit smaller I even cut down here um, that's about as much as I can get it I actually lost the video it wasn't ca doing any video and uh, to figure out actually when I was using my Dremel I accidentally cut off one of the connections right here and I used my uh, Whatever the heck this thing is called, uh, this commercial electric multimeter or whatever, and it has like a little feature on it. You just turn it on there, and then you click function twice, and uh, pull those things off. And then actually, when you touch like a connection, it'll make it sound like that. Say you have like a ground in your ground or whatever these are just heat sinks though but uh say here's your ground here and then you got a ground over here should work oh wait I grinded that all off um let's try this with this see there's a ground right there and ground right there and for another one let's try a uh, the side here and then um this See, it's making a noise. I'm telling you that's a connection. But yeah, it's pretty cool. That's how I got it down to this pretty much far. Um, I think I'm going to keep it like this. I may end up going to try to get smaller, but I don't know yet. Because uh, I did buy uh, two cases. One of them, my camera stands on right this second because I had no other way to... I didn't have anything else around me to put it on. But what I'm hoping to do is install everything in this case right here it's called I think it was called a here let me grab the paper real quick it's called a AG85 uh, from polycase.com these are real high quality came in three pieces this is for that piece in there so uh, but it was like the perfect size almost I don't know yet exactly because I haven't fit everything in there yet but it, it's made for electronics, these cases. Um, they're really nice quality, too. Real sturdy. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping to get everything in there. Um, but what I did with the motherboard here is uh, just trimmed everything down to the bare minimum. It's my 3.3 volt line and my 12 volt line here. Well, it's only 7.4 volts because that's the battery or whatever. But, uh... And even trim down to one controller. I do have the, uh, I know where the connections are for the uh, controller if I ever want to install the two, three, and four player port, but not necessary probably because I'll never play with anybody on the handheld. So, uh, and then I cut off this part here, right here, this space right here, and then added a connection right here with just a, uh, like a 22 gauge wire or whatever. And uh, for power, and it that connects the power or whatever to this over here, and it goes through wherever. Um, I grinded off some up here and uh, soldered it onto the motherboard itself, right here, because you get your ground on the outside here, and then you get the 3.3 volt line, and then you get your 12 volt line. And um, then I cut off this here. That, actually where the uh, power switch was 
and uh, basically what I did is I uh, found this thing on a forum and it told me to connect the uh, I think it's seven yeah it's seven eight you can solder those together and the uh, one and two I soldered those together and it's always on now so all I gotta do is uh, add a switch in to the power liner right here or whatever to the power right here to the green wire I ran out of uh, red wire so that's why I use green for power I need it. normally it's red but I ordered some online so I should be getting some here soon um, that's the controller so far that's what I'm gonna just hook up my controller to or whatever you got your ground I know it's a little backwards right now that I flipped it kinda around cuz uh, it's all hot glued in place whatever but uh, it's actually here's the ground and then here's the power the middles the power and then this is the white cable I don't know what that is I guess clocking or something like that that's for the controller you got your uh, jumper pack I'm I did a first run in uh, um, of doing this I went to the bare minimum I cut it in pieces or whatever to the bare minimum and it's working like this and uh, what I did after that on one of them uh, I had first tried first look I guess uh, I had really good luck and I uh, actually board bended the first one of these and then uh, it, it went really well and then after I board bent it and then I decided uh, so this would always stay in place I put hot glue on it and then it ended up taking the connection away and uh, on the first try and uh, on the other console that is and uh, I took all the I took all the uh, hot glue off but I ended up ripping uh, the uh, this in half pretty much when I was taking off the hot glue so that went that expansion or the non expansion pack but a uh, jumper pack this is a jumper pack also and uh, yeah the, the dent didn't go so well with the second one and uh, ruined that one and then I just said heck with it I'll just keep it like this so I may end up just doing that but it gives me a more a little more room if I board bend it is the problem I got a couple more of these jumper packs laying around so I may end up trying one more time but yeah I've trimmed up all the way around there here and all the way here this is where the reset button was um, I dremeled everything off, but yeah, I don't I don't know if I finished the story earlier, but down here the video wasn't working. I just soldered some. I found the points or whatever the solder points and soldered them together, and it works great now. Just put a little hot glue over it, and there you go, it works for protection. Basically, the hot glues. My heat sinks kept falling off. These are original heat sinks. They kept falling off, and so I just uh, took some hot glue and glued them on there. Now they're nice and sturdy on there. Um, these are the original N64 heat sinks. I don't have any heat sinks yet. I gotta, I'm gonna start buy some. Um, but yeah, here's this is three inches. My last one, my last cartridge was two inches, but I went with three this time for a little more flexibility where I want it to be. It does work, which I'll put that in the next video. Um, yeah, but so far so good. That's what it looks like here on this side and here on that side. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you guys. Uh, these four wires up top are actually uh, the video. Basically, here's your ground to the far. It starts on the right and then it goes left. Here's the uh, ground, and then the second one is the right audio, and then the third one is the left audio, and then here's your signal for the far left one. The fourth one is the uh, video. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how this does work and everything, and everything so far so good. And before I let you guys go, I'm gonna show you the other case. So hold on one second. I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right. Well. All right. Here we are. Here's the other case. It's pretty big compared to this one, as you can tell. But uh, in thickness, it's definitely bigger as well. So, 
yeah, that's the cases. And uh, this one is more comfortable in the hands, though. It feels real nice in my hands, actually. It's, like, perfect. And then uh, this case, it has a lot. That one doesn't have as much room, but this one actually has a lot of room in it. They're all, I think they're made, poly case, I think they make theirs with a CNC machine. Um, it has a lot of room in here, though. I may end up put, if I can't fit it in the AG85, I'll just put it in this one. And this one is actually called the, uh, I got the paperwork here, uh, the WA25, it's called. It's, it's really nice, too. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a rectangle or something. Kind of like a lunchbox, almost, I guess. But yeah, basically what I have an idea is put the screen up here, put the controller down here, and then there you go. And then you got put your but if you got buttons, just put the buttons on the back, your left bumpers or right bumpers or whatever. Just put them, install them on the back. It won't be that hard. But yeah, I'm going to do basically the same thing with this one, except uh, the screen's going to go here. Uh, a, B, and C buttons are going to go up here. And then uh, on the other side, it'll be like the analog and then the D-pad on the bottom. So, and then the C button, C button, I mean, not the C buttons, the left bumper and right bumpers are going to go on the back. I'm, what I may end up doing, though, if I, I can, if, I, this, if it all fits barely in here, or won't, and I just need a little extra room, I'll just basically just cut it all out right here, this whole thing. Cut this whole top off right here from where this point is. And uh, basically, all the way around right here, this, this top will pop off, and I'll shove everything in there, and then put this back on top, and then uh, put some epoxy around it, and then sand it all down, and then spray it black or whatever, and everything should be good. The cartridge will be up top though, so it'll be sticking out. But yeah, everything does fit very nice. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, I don't know if I showed you guys the thickness. Yeah, I did. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And please leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys later.